Hi guys today we are going to video about Scarlett Johansson's MCU return makes a major Black Widow theory seem almost inevitable, Scarlett Johansson has returned to the MCU and made a prominent Black Widow theory seem practically inevitable. Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, was last seen in her self-titled prequel movie in 2021. The character, however, remains dead in the MCU after sacrificing herself to acquire the Soul Stone in Avengers Endgame. The nature of this death means that her soul is presumably trapped in the Soul Stone's pocket dimension and remains inaccessible now that Earth 616's Infinity Stones are destroyed. Still, with the multiverse saga showing that countless variants dwell in other universes. Scarlett Johansson's MCU return feels possible, for now, Yelena Belova is filling her shoes as the MCU's elite assassin and victim of the Red Room. Belova is set to assume a starring role in 2025's Thunderbolts after reuniting with her adoptive father, Alexei Shostakov, and being united with a team of the MCU's down-and-out reformed villains and antiheroes. This is where Scarlett Johansson is returning to the MCU, and it could signify a big step for Belova's MCU arc, Yelena officially becoming Black Widow in Thunderbolts makes more sense with Scarlett Johansson's return, despite filling the role of her late adoptive sister, Yelena Belova has yet to adopt the mantle of Black Widow. This is despite being a part of the same Black Widow program as her predecessor and assuming the mantle in Marvel Comics. This could be about to change in Thunderbolts, which is rendered even more likely by the fact that Scarlett Johansson is involved as one of the movie's executive producers, this is the second time Johansson has filled such a role for an MCU movie after producing 2021's Black Widow. Nevertheless, while she also starred in her swan song movie, her character's death means that she is highly unlikely to show up in Thunderbolts. Instead, Johansson's involvement is more likely due to the involvement of several characters that debuted in Black Widow, while her inexorable ties to the Black Widow mantle make it likely that she'll be involved in passing the torch to Yelena Belova. Yelena's last MCU appearance teased an impending official Black Widow mantle adoption Yelena Belova was last seen in Hawkeye after being hired by Eleanor Bishop to assassinate Clint Barton, a job she eagerly took since she believed Hawkeye to be her sister's killer. After spending several episodes pursuing Barton, their final showdown in the series finale, So This Is Christmas, saw Hawkeye successfully convince Belova that he was not responsible for her sister's death. This leads to a tearful final scene for Yelena as she departs knowing that her sister made a noble decision that she could not be swayed from, this reconciliation with a former Avenger and her sister's final moments could steer Yelena down a more heroic path with a heroic moniker. Now that she has come to terms with Black Widow's absence, there is a conspicuous space in the MCU that Yelena is the perfect candidate to fill. Her highly entertaining friendship with Kate Bishop, meanwhile, opens the door for a slot on a more virtuous team down the line, but Thunderbolt seems like the best place for Yelena to officially become Black Widow nonetheless, why Thunderbolts is the perfect place to official make Yelena the next Black Widow following the release of the first Thunderbolts teaser trailer. It is plain to see that the titular team is going to be relatively fractious, at least at first. It is also set to center around themes of mental health, which is exemplified by Yelena's line, there is something wrong with me. An emptiness. I'm just drifting and I don't have purpose. Presumably, this is going to culminate in the struggling team members, and specifically Yelena Belova, reaching some kind of catharsis that will set them in good stead for their MCU futures, adopting the mantle of Black Widow and continuing her sister's legacy would be the perfect way for Yelena Belova to achieve this. There is plenty of purpose to be found in the role of Black Widow, after all, and it should help to steer her onto a more virtuous path than doing DeFontaine's dirty work. Provided she survives the movie, an eventuality that is looking terrifyingly uncertain now that Sentry is confirmed to be involved, this could propel Belova from being a morally grey member of the Thunderbolts to continuing Natasha Romanoff's valiant legacy with the Avengers. That concludes our review for today, but the discussion is far from over. For more, leave a comment. Hit, like, and subscribe for more videos. Keep the magic of movies alive until the next time, signing off from FK Bytes.